I am Madonna from your sister Al Tobago and I'm here to introduce my new hit single for Carnival 2016, Hit Me. When the rhythm hit me, I'm feeling like I go mad and every time I just lose my mind. You know, this year, uh, a lot of changes, a lot of new dynamic things happening and I uh, know so far since I've released my song Hit Me for Carnival 2016, I've been getting great reviews and you know I'm exciting. I'm excited rather for what's to come as the season unfolds. I am formerly Princess Adana. Uh, we decided to drop the name Princess since I um, met up with my new management team BWV Entertainment. They decided that I should have a new image, new sound, and we should drop the name Princess. Princess uh, was really a name growing up in the art form at the age 15 and now that I'm a full woman now, a career woman, a mom and all that, we decided that you know you could drop the princess and just be the Adana. And uh, you know from there till now a lot of doors have been opening, a lot of new and exciting stuff has been happening for Adana. And um, you know, persons would know me as the opener of jazz, uh, that's Plymouth Jazz, where I opened for Rod Stewart, um, and of course Whitney Houston on that big night. Also, I did concerts with people Bryce and George Benson, Roberta Flack, and you know, just a young and upcoming artist. Now I am the radio announcer and the recording artist, and I just wanted to introduce that to you guys. Um, I did just high and by because you know they they're heavily um, secured by their security team. But you know, just being on a show of that caliber alone. It did a lot for me and my esteem as a vocalist, as an artist. I was, growing up, I grew up in a musical home. My siblings, even my parents, they all can sing. Even at school, I was more involved um, in the arts. I did ballet, I did folk, I was in the choirs, storytelling and all that. So it was always a part of me. You know what, just to be fearless, you know, the procrastination, time for procrastination is gone. It's time to just take a leap of faith and hope for the best. I am more or less a seasoned artist, I like to call myself because I've been doing this since the age 15. And I think it's time for me to own, own my space and, you know, to bring forth who I am, Adana, to the audience out there. Adana is dynamic, free-spirited, fun-loving, very vulnerable, lovable person. Yes. I'm from Melfort, Bonacourt. That's five minutes away, just about, from the airport. <laughs> I grew up with my mom, but my dad was very much a part of my upbringing as well. You know, I, I am a twin. She is deceased now. So I had a fun, fun, um, childhood you know where I grew up in the village everyone is like brother and sister so my weekends were filled with cricket and run races you know doing everything children would do at that time so you know, I had a very fun loving upbringing you know what I I think every stage in your life you find a breakthrough so if I am to name one I can't you know so every every stage that I've met in my career, from the age 15, being the youngest to win Soka Monarch in Tobago, that was a big breakthrough for me. Then being able to um, head on out to Los Angeles to be a gold medalist in the Los Angeles um, Championship of Performing Arts was another milestone. Winning the uh, R&B slash Hip Hop Billboard Music Award in Atlanta, amongst all the other hip hop R&B artists singing Soka, the lone Soka artist there and being written up in the Billboard magazine at the age 17, 18 was a big milestone for me as well. So, you know, every stage in my career, you find that there's a new milestone to be met. And right now for me, bringing who I am to the audience of Trinidad would be another milestone for me. So, yeah, the biggest lesson. You always have to stay current. You always have to be on top of your game because there's always someone younger and better. So you always have to find new ways to reinvent yourself and to be current to the persons looking on and always be humble as well. You know, always be willing to wear a smile to persons approaching you because you need them in the industry. 
to keep your music, to keep your image, to keep who you are going. Yeah. It's been a challenging life. I mean, being an entertainer, I live wholly and solely off of entertainment. I am a radio announcer and I am an artist. Um, that's all I know. It's been challenging. There have uh, been a lot more lows than highs, but you still have to remain positive and optimistic. You have to be hopeful and keep persistent. You know, nothing is ever easy. And I don't think anyone can sit here and say, that, you know, life has been good. Being an entertainer, life is far from glorious. You understand? You just have to make what you have do and, you know, hope for a better tomorrow. Uh, we were just about to turn 19. Yeah, so we are the age 18. And that was a carnival in February. And I was in the midst of performing, you know, and it was a real, real emotional, real daunting time for me. And, um, you know, what kept me going was the fact that she was my biggest support. She always used to be like, Adana, I want to see you go. Or they called me Daki, you know, and she was brongy because we are twins. <laughs> so she said, Daki, I love your music and I want to see you reach far. She, and you know, that is what kept me going during that season because I kept performing all in her name, all in honor of her. Wow. <laughs> what am I afraid of? You know, I was afraid of death until that happened. And um, I'm more feel afraid of disappointing myself and disappointing my daughter because she now is my biggest supporter. She even wants to run up on stage while I'm performing and she's only three. And at home, she's like, mommy, look at me. You know, she has the mic and I'm more afraid of disappointing her and myself. Tobago is nice. It's real easy going and um, real calm and it's, it's homey, it's friendly. The persons there are more hospitable, uh, not more hospitable, like, but they, they are, are hospitable. They're yeah. like family. Wherever you go, you know, it's like one. They know your name. They know my name and it's like, hey, Adana, what's up? You know, it's not being like the superstar. It's just being like, you know, I'm happy, I'm proud to know that one of our own is doing her thing, you know, so yeah. You know, growing up, um, international influence would have been Whitney Houston, Roberta Flack, Patti LaBelle, persons like that, real new soul type of um, people. And um, Shade was one of my all time favorites, India Ari. I just love her style, I love her naturalness, and of course, Lauren Hill. And locally, powerhouses like singing Sandra. And you know, Ella Andel, Destra Garcia, Faye and Lyons, even Marsha Montano is one that I really look up to, Bungie Garland. You know, I love, I just love the fact, the stability, the star quality that they have, and you know, the drive and love that they have for the art form. So those are my influences. My OMG moment was being featured in the Billboard magazine. Yes. You know, I'm um, going into the competition. Yeah. Right. Let's yes. My OMG moment was being featured in the Billboard magazine and you know, being the lone contestant from Trinidad and Tobago, Tobago more so going into an all hip hop R&B competition with Soka and Reggae and being able to wow the crowd, wow the judges and winning that showcase, it meant a whole lot to me. You know, it boosted my self-esteem. It helped me realize that I do have something special and it gave me the drive to go forth with my career and you know, be the Adana that I want to be. I just want to say thank you to OMG Magazine for having me. Thank you to my management team, BWV Entertainment. Thank you to JC Management as well. And you know, thank you to Pretty and some production for producing my song for kind of 2016, Hit Me.